going to be making maracas and we are going to be using some rice that we are going to dye different colors. We have some plastic water bottles here and we also have uh, paper towel rolls and some other fun stuff here that we are going to use on our part two of this activity. You can also use beans or anything else that you may have around the house. Beads are fun too. Just anything that will look fun um, and colorful in your water bottle. So we're going to get started with dyeing our rice. So we have put some rice in some Ziploc baggies and we put about a teaspoon of water inside the bag. The kids have each chosen their colors of food dye that they're going to put in and we're going to put in about 10 or so drops of food coloring in each bag and then we're going to seal it and mix it up. So you guys let's go ahead Looks pretty good, Adrian. That's the cow saying hi. <laughs> All right, those look really nice and bright and colorful. So now we'll take those out. We will lay them on a cookie sheet or a, a plate or something um, flat and lay them out to dry. And then we will use them to fill our water bottles. These are some colors that we did previously and they're dry and ready to go. So we're going to take some spoons and go ahead and start filling our bottles. Pretty colorful, huh? Good job. Mm -hmm. It's very colorful. You can fill these up about a third of the way if you'd like. And you can also add other elements to your maracas if you'd like. Um, what we have done here is we have some cut up straws that we can add into if you want to, just to give it a little bit more volume and a little bit more noise and color. But you can use anything. You can use little pieces of paper. You can use beads. It's really up to you. Completely, completely endless amount of creativity that you can use with this. All right, and as you can see, these are super colorful. Good job, guys, and let me hear them. All right, so you can leave them like that. You can also use larger 
uh, water bottles if you'd like, but we're gonna take one more step and we are going to add handles using paper towel rolls. So we did two different ways and this is really up to you. You can use your imagination with this. We took a toilet paper roll, um, cut it in half and wrapped it around the lid of the bottle. And then for Victoria, we used duct tape because I know there's a lot of fun colors of duct tape out there right now. You can use any type of tape. I know there's a lot of really fun printed and colored tape that's out there. And for Adrian, we used uh, streamers that you can find at like party stores or for birthday parties, that type of stuff. So we use that and use tape to tie around it to make their handles. So let's hear them guys, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> I think we got a winner, what do you guys think? And they're yeah. also microphones. <laughs> and they double as microphones. All right, can you guys say happy Cinco de Mayo? Happy, happy Cinco, Cinco de Mayo. De Mayo. And here's another really easy way to make some maracas or noisemakers. We have toilet paper rolls or paper towel rolls that you can cut down. You're going to taper, staple one end, and then fill them up. So you guys go ahead and start filling them up with your rice. You can use um, beans or anything that makes noise. And you don't really need much, that's the nice part. And then afterwards, the kids can decorate them by coloring, putting stickers, whatever you'd like, but it's a really simple way to use those recyclable materials that we have at home and create something fun. And that's the finished product. Very simple, easy way to make a noisemaker or maraca. Let's hear them, guys.